In this example, we're asked to round the number 40,963 to four different places. In part A, we're asked to round that number to the tens place. I'm going to illustrate a couple of different ways to round numbers as we go through each of the parts of this example. So in the first problem, if I want to round the number to the nearest tens place, I'm going to look at the 6, which is in the tens place, and the number to the right, which is a 3. And I'm going to ask myself, is 63 closer to 60 or to 70? Well, it's closer to 60. So if I were going to approximate, which is what rounding really is, 40,963 to the tens place, I would round it to 40,960. And these squiggly lines mean approximately equal, and we can use them when we're rounding. Let's look at the same number, 40,963, and see how we're going to round that to the nearest hundreds place. Well, if I look at the hundreds place, I have the digit 9. So 963 is the hundreds part of this number. Is 963 closer to 900 or to 1,000? Well, it's closer to a thousand. So if I'm going to approximate the number to the nearest hundreds, I'm going to have to round to 41,000. Looking at the number again, 40,963, rounding it to the nearest thousand, the zero is in the thousand place. So what I can do is to illustrate another method of rounding. So if I focus just on the digit in the place that I want and the digit to the right, then if the digit to the right, which is the 9, is 5 or bigger, then I add 1 to the digit that's in the place that I want. So that would make that 41,000 would be... 40,963 routed to the nearest thousand. And notice that the approximation for this number to the nearest thousand and to the nearest hundreds is the same. That's okay. So let's look at the last one, 40,963 rounded to the nearest 10,000. Again, I'm going to illustrate the second method of rounding, which is to look at the digit that's in the place we want, which is the 4, and look at the digit to the right. The digit to the right is a 0, which means that my 4 is going to stay in place. And if I approximate 40,963 to the nearest 10,000, then the result would be 40,000.